Hello, this is the weekly review for Human Geography and Early World History from October 26th to October 30th. Our four-class focus this week, uh, we finished up and did the exit tickets on integrity. And we, before doing that, we reviewed responses to the effective communication exit tickets, uh, considering responses to meeting the daily goal, student generation uh, generated questions that we discussed in class, and how students effectively communicated, uh, particularly around um, the activity where we workshopped on the essay. Communication occurred in breakout rooms, for the most part. We continued on our exploration of Unit 2, the ancient period to 600 BCE. Uh, we worked on our first formative assessment. We worked on a writing prompt that considered the first three indicators that we worked on, which were to describe the changes in subsistence practices, migration patterns, and technology during the Paleolithic era, as well as explaining the causes and effects of the Neolithic Revolution, and tracing the transition from shifting cultivation to sedentary agriculture and the emergence of complex urban civilization. And you can see here we uh, created uh, at least a draft of the uh, formative, and you reviewed it, gave some feedback, uh, and we moved forward, and that will be due this coming Tuesday. Some of the in-class work we did, uh, we read an article about how humans went from foraging to farming, and I had you create leveled questions, which we then took samples of and discussed them in class. I also um, gave you an article on hydrologic science, or in other words, uh, water management systems that went on, uh, particularly in river valley civilizations, and there was a note-taking activity that we also reviewed. And then we compared and contrast um, several American civilizations um, who engaged in farming practices in the absence of significant water management systems. Uh, they certainly didn't engage in the hydrologic science to the degree that the river valley civilizations did. We had an MC practice and an Ed puzzle this week. The MC practice was on Mayan agriculture, and the idea was that they used uh, terraced farming uh, as one of their methods. The Ed puzzle also continued to focus on water management with the ancient Maya, where they worked with things such as levees, cisterns, and canals to gather and manage their water. And we talked about the differences in uh, their activities around uh, water gathering and water management, uh, even though you had uh, city-states within the Mayan Empire that were very close to each other. Uh, the differences really depended on the various agricultural needs and the physical geographic characteristics and the people uh, within those cities. We're going to have different methods because of that. We also had a, a pair deck, and I assigned a writing prompt for homework. The Pear Deck reviewed uh, and focused on man's subsistence practices, technologies, and basic needs, as well as the Neolithic pros and cons and the change in gender roles because of the Neolithic, Re Neolithic Revolution. This was designed to assist students in preparing for the formative. It was just to reinforce the background information you were going to need or have at your disposal in order to um, complete that formative assessment. The writing prompt uh, homework is focusing on the origins and expansion and consolidation of early states. Those early river valley states, which you can see on the map here, include Egypt, Mesopotamia, Harappa, uh, and China. What we have to look forward to, uh, again, the formative is due on Tuesday. We will review that writing prompt. We're also going to focus on some other aspects of these uh, rising river valley civilizations, including uh, pastoralism, which would have been the people outside and the periphery of those civilizations who are still engaging in pastoralism as opposed to settled agriculture, uh, re how religion rose in these civilizations. We're going to focus on creating the summative, summative assessment to finish up Unit 2, and our four-class focus or executive functioning skill will be on positive relationships, which is one of the uh, Biddeford High School core values. So that's it. That's what we have to look forward to. Uh, next week. Take care.